Yeah. This is the face reveal episode. <laughs> Think, thunk, think, thunk, tank. It's time for Thunk Tank. Because being Hi. funny is hard. Welcome to Thunk Tanks. My name is Calvin, and this is my face reveal. My name is Andreas, and uh, this this isn't my face reveal. This is a Craigslist double that I paid ten dollars to <laughs> lip sync this pre-recorded message. Hi, my name is Eric, and this is my actual face, but it's being simulated virtually. Deep faking yourself is the funniest thing. <laughs> Deep faking yourself. Deep faking my face onto my face. Next level, bitches. Uh, I, I mean, you, on can, my level. you can't prove that it's me because it's a digital version of me on me. I think there's a. I think this is. Uh, this has got a thing. We we. Sh I'm turning this into a full on thunk right now. Uh, it mm. is. It is a service to deep fake your face. Onto the face of some actor so that you could pretend to be in their role in a, a full movie. Oh, that would be pretty cool. It's a normal I, movie, but but it's your face. That's fantastic. I, I like it's John Wick, but I'm starring in it. Yeah, or it's Jurassic Park, but I'm the Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> it's John Wick, except <laughs> I'm the dog. Damn it, you beat me to it. With <laughs> I think it's a. That, that's a really good idea. I think it is. I think it's that a is. groundbreaking. Uh, whole, and I think in the future, movies will be made just with a blank person to to be, get your face put on it, in the faces of those that you care about. Future movie I, stars won't even have faces. You know, they can deep fake voices too. Yeah, they can deep fake my voice. Yeah, they'll Boom. deep face all of you like a hundred percent into the movie. You know. God, I, that's going to be so unwatchable. <laughs> All actors are based entirely upon like, oh, the quality of that actor's hand motions are really up to snuff. It'd be like bringing back silent film. Yeah, except n and now actors don't have to be attractive. They just have to have nice hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we'll be deep faking the hands too. But I want. Oh, right. No, fuck. Of course, you can't no, like sorry. require that the actors be the same ethnicity as you or anything. I want my head. Oh, I was on... just imagining we wouldn't give a shit, but like, oh, well, yeah. we could do that too. I just want my head on the main character. I don't want. I don't want my body in the movie. I want to be like, <laughs> like, like you know. I want to be like, yeah, yeah, super buff. Yeah, I'm, I, fan I, I have no. See. The, the, me and The Rock have very little in common, mm. uh, as I am completely incapable of doing strenuous physical cut tasks, and he is <laughs> capable of ripping my spine out of my body. Yeah. So, you know, he seems like a wonderful gentleman, and I'd love to see one of his movies, but with my face on his, uh, for fun. But I don't want them to put my body in there. No, no, no. I don't want that. Especially since he's like a good foot taller than me. So, like, the hat would be floating. <laughs> you, you would think they'd, like, change the proportions appropriately. Yeah. It's but just way, sounds like a great idea. It's doable. Yeah. I think, like, if we started doing it, we might run into copyright issues. I mean... Like, Not if we did it as art. Commissioned art pieces. Where we take a movie and we painstakingly deep fake your face onto it. It's not art if it's satire. You know how we do it? We just I mean, have it's to... not stealing. It's I think it won't be a copyright infringement if we, like, buy a copy of the DVD for each uh, copy of the movie we sell with their face on it. Right? Mm. Like, we get to resell things we own. It's not I don't like... Know. I have to talk to a lawyer about that. But either way, it's a great idea, and I love it a lot. What if we own... We, all we have to sell is the overlay... Of their face, it, we we make like oh, I can't I can't remember what it was, but there's some some uh, Christians were doing like they're like regular movies, but we've edited them to get all the bad parts out, and they got into some copyright trouble. But like that's what they were doing is just selling like the edits and not the actual movies they were editing. Right. So you're actually you're selling yeah. their just their face in the right positions for that movie, and you just like yeah open up. A, any video editor and you go whoop whoop and like that's not my problem 
Or like we just make some software that automatically does that. Yeah. 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 yeah like you put the DVD in your computer, you run our software, boom, you're deep faked into a movie. That that software is very easy. Absolutely. Yeah. Compared to the yeah, deep faking is... an entire film with someone else's face. Yeah, if we, once we get to the that, we're fucking gold. Yeah. If I can do the other parts of this hypothetical idea, this part's easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, once we once we learn to be that good, we can do anything. But I I think uh they wouldn't even have to be the greatest deep fakes. Yeah. They, they, Just have they to be don't. recognizably the person they're supposed to be. Yeah. And they we'd have a cooperating person. It wouldn't be like deep faking somebody who didn't want to do it so we could get like full head scans. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, a good idea. It's a good idea. What do, what do we call this? Do you guys have like a um, film fakes? What? Uh, no, no, deep no. films. Deep films. You fakes. <laughs> you films. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that's. I could be wrong. But I think that's taken. Ah, uh, probably not. I'm gonna try to register YouTube.net right now. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, like? You, uh, you films, UVs, like a movie, but with you, UV. UVs. That's just so cheesy. It might be good. <laughs> like I said, that's like feel, super cheesy. I feel like we're on the Zune level of naming right mm -hmm. there. Zune was a decent name. Better than iPod. Uh, well, they call them podcasts for a reason. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying podcast is a bad name. I'm saying Zune was a like inventive and original name. Whereas iPod is not an original inventive name. It's just a pod. Yeah. And I oh no. I, I so have this pod it's... like iPod. <laughs> oh god. Zune was a better point. name. iPod reasonably more successful for probably good reason yeah not that i endorse any goddamn apple products but they used to make good stuff so uvs U uvs uvs uh, uh maybe maybe uh, yeah uvs i think is it i mean movie is a dumb name it's, it's like okay, a picture, yeah. but it moves movie yeah okay it is. and when they invent and when they added sound they were talkies that's true, that's true. Oh, you're kidding me. No. No, that's what they were. Yeah. What, well, what about well, when they added... The past, bro. <laughs> what, what about when they went, so made the switch to color film? Were they like rainbowies? No, but that would have been better. <laughs> Col they, were they colories? I think that's... They, they were just color films. They were in color. That no, one see this used. movie in full Technicolor or whatever the fuck they branded their colors as. Oh. Hmm. oh so I, th I think UV is an entirely yeah that's... reasonable name for a movie with you in it. Yeah, it is. Uh, wow, I, I didn't expect to have something for today, but you guys brought it. Yeah, up, and I I was like, oh, there it is. I've got I'm it. I'm angry that you can take uh, take credit for that one. <laughs> because uh because i also didn't bring very much <laughs> we can i'll share this one i'll share it oh good 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 i'll put it on the leaderboard okay as having credit we for be that keeping score absolutely oh god yeah of course oh it's really upsetting that you have the long list because it means you constantly yeah we haven't told you about the score because you keep on being you you have a every time you've got like four or five and we're just like shit <laughs> Yeah, we don't want you to know about the scoreboard. Oh, okay. Do you want to let me know how badly I'm winning? Yeah. Um, oh, speaking of all the ideas I had. Yes, yes, please. Please enlighten I us. don't actually... This isn't actually an idea I've had. It's an idea for an idea. Okay. Because you know how, like, printers, they, they sell them real cheap, but then the ink is super expensive? Yes. And they're, they're like, trying to do subscription models for, like, physical stuff. Like, BMW is starting to, like, roll out subscription models for, like, advanced features like heated seats. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you don't subscribe to BMW Premium, your heated seats stop working. Oh my god. I don't god. think they've actually done that yet, but Th- like that's they're talking awful about awful and just Yeah, but can we think of other ways to force people to subscribe to subscriptions? Yeah. For like physical shit. Yeah, I'm suddenly like you're saying that with the like uh airbags. No, <laughs> no, that's that's <laughs> certainly illegal. <laughs> but, so, but like we could start selling windshield washer cartridges, proprietary motorcycle gas tanks, <laughs> where you have to pull the whole tank go. out. Pretty good one. You know, Just refill se- them. Like, uh, yeah, that's send it back to the company. That's that's got that's got potential. <laughs> I, I see, like paying. Oh, it's real cheap to buy this Harley, but oh, you gotta buy new gas tanks every time you run out of gas. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people get stranded on the side of the road then because they didn't bring extra gas tanks yeah. with them. Sometimes it's yeah. cheaper just to buy a new motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That's how I'm it is so with angry. printers. That's how it is with I just, printers. I just want to I wanna let you guys know the only reason I'm for this is because I, I want to kind of hack. I want to be a vehicle hacker, <laughs> which I feel like isn't a thing really okay well, it's like you what do what you do it's like oh, i drill holes in the in the single use gas cans and i pour more gas in them because <laughs> i'm a maniac yeah that's the upsetting thing it's like how easy would anybody with half a brain would just go oh cool Bzzz, look 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 bit a little cap in there seal it off with some like silicone or something you well, say you know, that you but- say yeah, you're going to run out of gear shifts and you need to buy some more on your in-app purchases there. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question for you. Do you guys, guys know how OnStar works? I do not know, but I'd love to learn. It's like, I, yeah. No, I don't, I don't know either. And I figured I'd ask because I thought it was an interesting thing. OnStar is a, an emergency button some cars are outfitted with. That's basically a GPS and a phone. And that way, if you get in an accident, you hit the OnStar button and they can contact emergency services with your location and get them everything they need so they can get to you at a fast pace. But it's a subscription. Yeah, it's satellite based, I believe. I believe it is a satellite phone. Yeah. Yeah. Not a cell Um, phone? Not a cell phone. There's satellite phone hardware in that shit. I'm stealing that shit. Yeah, because it's not for... if, If they tried to use that as like a satellite phone and everybody tried to use them as a satellite phone... It would be garbage, right? It's just not for like calling and talking to people. It's for sending a single signal that says, "Hey, this is where where I am." In the radio ads, you could talk to the nice OnStar lady. Yeah, well, they, I, they, I, I don't know shit. Do. I'm just making. Yeah, up. I think also, they do have. There's a... an aftermarket mod, so you can connect your phone through Bluetooth to the OnStar speakers. That makes sense. And have a like car phone speaker phone Bluetooth thing. Like, All I know is it seems interesting to have a pay for subscription that if in an event of an emergency, you don't have the subscription and you hit the button, nothing happens. I'm not sure that nothing happens. Me neither. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't been gutsy enough to press my OnStar button, but like I definitely have like an emergency panic button in my car. Yeah. And hmm. I was like, I don't know. Now I want to press it. Yeah, me too. But you can always say, I'm so sorry. I was putting a broom in or some two by fours <laughs> in my car and it hit the button. I'm sorry. I just pushed the button because I didn't think anything would happen. I think is entirely valid. My guess is I'm going to get a recorded message that says you have to pay money for this shit. But like, I feel if it's a cell phone, you have to have emergency services, right? Yeah. Right. It so has maybe, to be maybe it's different for satellite phones. And that's, I don't know. I don't know either. It's but a, it's an interesting subscription that you have to you have to pay for to not die, kind of. Well, I mean, you you have to pay for your cell phone to be able to call nine one one. No, you don't. Ish, no, you don't. You don't. Cell phones all work with nine one one. Yeah, they'll hop on hmm. any network and they'll work. I have to pay for my cell phone to call the emergency towing service, though. Oh yeah, God yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, but, so, but if you're but if you want, some cops can come by and and uh, maybe lend you their cell phone. No, no probably no. not. 
probably I'll, give you a ticket for being illegally parked on the side of the road. I'll just walk uh, more to like. wherever. Thanks. I'll just yeah, set yeah. the car on fire and walk away. Easy yeah. peasy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, Disposable cars. Just so you know, if you do get into an accident, um, don't just leave your vehicle there and walk somewhere. Yeah, definitely no. set it on fire before yeah. you walk away. If you do, yeah, Let's just throw the, the evidence first. Um, yeah, uh, because because I've done that. I've walked away from a vehicle that I have wrecked, and it didn't. It wasn't. It wasn't great. Yeah, they didn't love it. Yeah, I was a little disoriented though. Yeah. I mean, as you would be. Well, if you if you have to crawl out of the windshield, then you know it's you can you can be a little bit disoriented. Yeah, I guess there's probably some wiggle room there for disorientation when you're in a bad car accident. Mm. But if you're in a small car accident, definitely set the car on fire before running away. Agreed. 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 So I don't have any. Well, we can come back to more ideas, but I don't have any ideas on that. <laughs> but I would like to to take a segue because mm. I did look up that country song that I complained about uh, last episode. <laughs> okay, and I found it. Okay, it is a song by Walker Hayes uh-huh. called a "Real Fancy, Human." Fancy like, fancy like. <clears throat> I'm going to read to you a couple of uh, a couple of stanzas. No, was... paragraphs, but they're 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 song paragraphs. Uh, a, my girl is banging. She's so low maintenance. Don't need no champagne popping entertainment. Take her to Wendy's. Can't keep her off me. She gonna dip me like them fries no, in no, her no. frosty. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. This continues. No, please stop. Stop. But please. every now and then, <laughs> no, I get paid, and I'm going to. Sp- and I'm. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta spoil my baby with an upgrade. A, 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 a. Yeah, we fancy like Applebee's on a date night. Got that Bourbon Street steak with the Oreo shake. Got some whipped cream on the top too. Two straws. One 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 check, girl. I got you. Uh bogey like natty in no, the no, 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 no. No more. No more. I <laughs> okay. demand it. I, I think I think we we got the idea. Yeah. Well, hold on. Let me no, let me no, just no, 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 let no. me just read read no, 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 just no. the brand names down here. Ready? Tesla Vespa. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm going by. A- oh, there's Applebee's Bourbon Steak again. Uh, some Alabama Jamma. Uh, what which is- I'm not sure is a brand. Uh, Scola. Skol. 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 Like, like oh, the, the uh, dip, the, the chew? like chewing tobacco. I think so. Oh, okay. uh, Victoria, Victoria Secret, uh, Ma- Maybelline. <laughs> Look, you know, uh, it's not so bad he- hearing them out of context. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not I, as I, I bad. Can deal with brand names. I don't, but I'm, I'm imagining just, it's the just context. Fun guessing which one he thinks are fancy and which ones. <laughs> yeah, I don't like not. that. I don't like that. Applebee's so fancy. Oh, so uh, I just recently watched uh, a movie, Talladega Nights. Oh, yeah. Okay. When they go to the fancy restaurant, it's an Applebee's. And I'm just pointing out that maybe that's not a joke, and I thought it was funny. But it might not have It might have just been like, oh, yeah, this is what NASCAR drivers think is fancy. Oh, God. I hope not. Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> I, have some, I have some thoughts on good things to maybe take away from this horrible horrible nightmare that has happened to us yeah that, that is andreas reading this song or this song You're welcome, even by existing. The way. hopefully this this will get copyright striked out of existence Mm-mm. and no one will ever have to listen to this again yeah i hope that my that twitch takes down my channel so that this video dies I'm going to delete this after it's... I'm going to download this and put it up on YouTube and then delete this and then hope that our channel is destroyed. Um, 
The okay, so here's the thing. Uh this level of intense pandering is how we repair our nation. Ooh. Now, I don't know much, but I I am a normal American man and that is why I get vaccinated. Like is that what you mean? That is what no, I'm No, I think about. we mean nothing good has ever happened in a Wendy. But, Nothing but, good's ever happened in a Wendy's. I think eating I, kale because it's good for me. No, 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 no. You can't do that. You can't do that. Like seriously, you need to like a full on like pick a like one or two things, and I think it is. Um, I think the two things to pick is like like uh real uh. Critical thinking, right? You you just wait for fact based evidence. No, 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 no. no. Before I make decisions, like no, no, no. I understand what you're saying, but you've got it. What you have to do is you've got to suddenly think like these are the things that are cool, and some of the things that are cool are, uh, like. It's almost like an ignorance virtue sigla- signaling, right? Yeah, okay. So what I'm suggesting is repackage critical thinking concepts as being... As ignorance? Stu- being stupid about things. <laughs> this guy thinks before he acts. <laughs> I don't what know. Idiot. I feel like or it's do you mean like, like I don't listen to nothing anyone tells me. If it don't seem right, because I think I don't know why I have a weird shitty southern accent. I'm gonna do a double blind accent. study to find my girl tonight. No, no. <laughs> so you can't do that. You can't. You can't use any. Uh, any. You can't use that science lingo. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Right. Yeah. So you want to just drain all of that out and leave the framework because the words are what's bothering them. The mindset. Well, no, okay. they're not smart enough to know what the words mean. And so they're not bothered by the concept, right? You need but... to like like a like a grape that that has been drained from all the things that someone injects with with manufactured meat juice that turns it into a steak grape. The framework Wait, is that a real thing? Yes. Or is this? Or yes, the Wait, framework. Steak steak grapes are real. I think so. Yeah. No. No, you just fuse them and they. Grow you, you drain all the cell stuff out of the cellular framework and then you put new cells in. Well, we're and talking, holds- okay, you're doing you're doing like science meat. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. okay. Science meat. Uh yeah. Cool. And I think it's the same thing. I think you just need to take all the words out that are bad and then infuse it with this uh, pandering of I'm one of you. We're we're you know, like I I, I think it's right there. Yeah. Yeah, I I think it's hard to put like scientific concepts into a framework of stupidity. Yeah, that's difficult. Uh, I think it can be done. I'd like to mm. look. See I'm, this I'm, guy, mm. this guy that's singing the song. He's a rich dude that knows no. exactly no. what me, he's doing. Nope, nope. No, I'm no, afraid me, not. This is his top. This is his first hit. Um, apparently from the. I, I'm, I looked it up when you were talking because we're not in virtual reality anymore. Oh, I can look no. shit up. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Dude, sucks. this guy looks like his face is a square. Like, <laughs> Hold on. Like, <laughs> okay, well... <sighs> oh, he is very attractive in like the most conventional sense. Uh, anyhow, I'd just like to read you this one section because it's very funny. Okay. I think everyone get off Google after that. that uh, come on. Okay, I'll stop Googling. No, no more. Go- except my Google Notes. I need those. <laughs> after, after Hayes posted a series of videos on TikTok with his children, the song sold 10,300 copies in the week ending June 17th, 2021. 10,000 or 10 million? 10,000. 10, That's like nothing. It reached. It reached. Number three on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and number one in the Hot Country Song chart, becoming Hayes' first top 10 and highest charting single to date. So, on wait a August, minute. Yeah, so he sold 10,000 copies of a song 
and somehow got into the top 100. Songs cost like a dollar on iTunes still, right? I have I have no is idea. The, is the price of having a number one hit ten thousand dollars? If it is, I kind of want to become a famous mu- music guy. Can we kickstart our science science country music in, in, into into being number one on the Billboard charts? Oh, this is. I'll, I'd like to I'd like to finish though, if you guys don't mind. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, this song that I read some of the lyrics to, uh, on August 9th, two thousand twenty-one, the track was certified gold and platinum on September seventh. This is a platinum song now. Uh, In response to the song's popularity, Applebee's brought back its Oreo cookie shake, which was mentioned in the song and has been discontinued in the wake of COVID-19 of the COVID-19 pandemic. The chain used the song in commercials starting August 23rd. This is the darkest timeline. (laughs) I mean, like that's on par for Applebee's. Is it? Yeah, it, the Applebee's is a shithole. Well, yes, they microwave all their food. Yeah, if I want a goddamn microwave steak, I'd stay home and microwave steak. If you want microwave steak, I'll come to your house and beat you to death with a steak. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, once in a while, I want something that is dry and chewy and <laughs> sort of disgusting, turkey. but not like that disgusting. <laughs> What I want is thick beef jerky with less flavor and salt. <laughs> low salt, low flavor, thick beef jerky. Yeah. Mm. Don't don't, don't <sighs> judge me for what I like. Do you really want? Do you really want microwave steak no. sometimes? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but I occasionally microwave breakfast sandwiches on bagels, and it makes the bagels gummy in a way that, like, I enjoy, but I know is technically bad. Oh yeah, no, it's terrible. But like. Oh, once in no. a while, I just got to microwave a poppy seed bagel. Just le- le- let me have my joy. Okay, so I, I think I've given up. I think this. Yeah, there's there's so much to unpack here. This no no. Here's <laughs> What's the thing. wrong with Eric? It's not I don't just there's the, no 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 no. I've given up <laughs> uh, because of this song, because of Applebee's, because of how popular it has gotten. I was very much on on you know maybe there's a chance for humanity. <laughs> oh. Oh no! We, we I, broke Calvin by I think with country music. I think I I think I've got to give up. I think there's just no nah, question at this don't point. Give up? No, di- dilute. We're not smart enough to bring down all of civilization. They don't. I don't think intelligence is the, the issue here. I think they're stupid enough to bring down all of civilization. I mean that's. I mean that's, that it's true. gonna happen. And it has, it has it's been civilization's happening. fucked. We're screwed. <laughs> let's enjoy it. Let's not give up though. Yeah, yeah let's kickstart a. Well, let's like, kickstart a top. Up and be miserable. I'm. I'm giving <laughs> up. Hold on to hope. I'm so giving up enjoy. on thunks that save save people. Oh no! Giving We're going to full saving scam. the world with thunks. I just full scam. Okay, full so scam time. He, here, here's the the idea. Hold we on. start a business. And we call it like the San Antonio Puppy Rescue. <laughs> and we're a puppy mill that just breeds puppies and sells them. That's so fucked up. I love it. Yeah, you gave yours you gave up on, on I didn't give up on right puppies. I didn't give up on puppies. I just oh, gave up on okay, people. We didn't give up on puppies. Okay. The San Antonio orphanage. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we just make kids and we sell them. Oh no! Well, they've got these, these. They've got these ice camps, you see, uh, and you just go and you pick out the ones you want. Um, it's no. terrible, but we no. still do have kids in no. cages, and we should remind our everyone of that. Yeah, we should still be angry about this. Everybody, get angry at the government! God damn it! <laughs> Taking my money and doing an evil shit with it. Yeah. Oh, poor Calvin. We <laughs> broke him with a country song. So I, th- I think instead of doing like video podcasts, we should have puppies. Like oh, like and we li- should just talk live over them. some puppies and talk over them. Yeah. God, can yeah, we... I think our podcast would be better? Yeah. God, it, I, to be fair, it's that like you can add a lot of shit to this podcast to make it marginally better. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. Yeah, but like it. you can point a camera at puppies, video. and that's easy. Here, yeah. Let me get. Yeah. Let no, me this get is an audio. Phone. 
No, no, this is an audio <laughs> medium. Don't, don't, don't Google things. God damn it, you're breaking the rules. I'm Colin. not Googling. I'm just, I'm just downloading a video of some puppies. Okay. All right. Make sure we don't get copyright strike striked by the puppies. The puppies? I don't think puppies own copyrights. <laughs> they could if they hit the record button. Remember there was oh, that, yeah, that there thing was with the, the monkey the... that photographed itself. I'm getting a uh, royalty-free puppy video. Hold on. Royaltyfreepuppyvideo.com. Oh, so no no corgis then. Uh, hold on. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> dog jokes. But um oh. Since we're on the topic of pets, did you know cats can suffer from whisker fatigue? <laughs> that sucks, really? Yeah, like if their food bowl touches their whiskers while they're eating, it like messes with that their like mind in ways. Yeah. We are we are now uh, just a uh we're just a, a video of puppies. puppies. The video of puppies is now playing over top of us. Fantastic. Um so are you telling me that cats have special hairs on their face that if you poke the hairs too much, they get tired? They get fatigued. It's it's like the sensory input is too much and they just get upset about it. And if your cat's not eating, one of the reasons could be whisker fatigue. Oh. So you're telling me by putting food in a smaller bowl, uh, you can make your cat go on a diet? Probably if your cat's that fat, it's not going to stop them. Yeah, no. I have one of those cats and it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, nothing will. Okay, I'm gonna. T I'm, t I'm taking the puppies back down. No, what? Why? Ooh, why? Why would you give us puppies then take them away? I don't know. I feel like it, almost worse than not having puppies at all. It is. It's very high quality puppy footage, but um. No, no, no. I'm watching it. I want you to keep it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna stare at these cute puppies instead of doing a podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If, if you're on, Donate. if you're listening to the if audio podcast. If you're uh, listening to the audio podcast, you are missing out on some top quality puppies. Top quality yeah, puppies. Just, just remember, uh, Kevin, can you edit in uh, in the arms of of an angel for this spot right now? No, no that will be right now. We have to sing it. In the arms of an angel. Jesus. <laughs> you know what? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right now. We need to we need to uh Find a, a a full video of that one ad. Every everyone knows the ad, uh, and we dub over it <laughs> the entire the entirety we, of we that. Single yes, <laughs> yes, agreed. Completely Hi, agreed. I'm Rachel. Whatever the fuck her name was that wrote that song. These dogs need your help. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wouldn't be bad to get that message out there even a little oh, bit Oh god more. yeah no like it's a really it's okay. a, it, you know it's probably I've brought our a faces fine back. Part. I've brought our faces back. Oh Jesus. Uh here wait, you know what? Okay, we're, sorry everybody. We're... I know the puppies are gone and you like them better than us, but here. That's just Calvin being I, a dick. I put the puppies in our the back. Our editor right? refuses. Oh. Well done. Well done. I approve mightily. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now that we've uh, resolved our issues. <laughs> yeah. All issues have been resolved. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I've given up on humanity. Yep. Check. Yeah. You guys are starting a puppy farm. Uh, I, mm, no, we're no. not actually going to do it. Or, no, what, that would be honest, wrong. It, puppy mills are bad uh, and evil. All right. Yep. Adopt from a shelter. Do you have any other thunks for today? I could. Would you, you can't stop me. I could not, but I was. I, I'm actually encouraging more thunk. More thunk. More. Thunk. How about an oh. electric snuggie? Is it to heat you or yes. like to make you it's like kill. an electric blanket, which are popular, mm -hmm. but a snuggie, which are also popular. A question. But if you search electric snuggie on the internet, no such thing. Huh. So, are you telling me that this way it heats me? And comes with me wherever I go. And if there's a problem, it's stuck to me and I can't get it off easily? Yeah. yeah. That sounds awesome. We, where do I sign up? It, can, we, can we make this battery powered? Uh, theoretically, it'd probably be better if it wasn't. God, way better.
so much safer and nicer about, and less heavy. It could have like a wheeled little cart that you could pull around. Do they make heated couches? They should. Yes, yes they do. They make heated couches and how couches with built-in massage chair thingies. Do they make cooled couches? Uh, almost definitely. Okay. Do they? Yeah, really Refrigerated expensive. couch sounds... Okay. Imagine, that makes sense. Imagine... That's why I've never seen one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Imagine something <laughs> worth more than, than what you can imagine. and then Too like, expensive to go in the nice furniture stores near me. Yeah, like a one my girl center doesn't... buys this. Girl, think, good thing my girl doesn't mind going to Wendy's. Oh, God. <laughs> Please stop. Oh, God. God, I don't what want a to think about song. that ever again. <laughs> Absolutely, banana song. Good, good job finding it, bro. Thank you, thank you. I'm very proud. Go, go listen to that when you're done listening to this one, guys. Oh. It's uh, not good. No, I hate it. Um, <laughs> um, okay. So you, you're it's right. a snuggie that you plug into a wall. Yeah. Or. Uh, you can get a uh, little like a little cart that you pull around with you with the snuggie, and it's got like slots for um, the like a you know drill battery pack things. Yeah, that could work. What about? All right, all right. What else can we heat that everyone needs? Um, actually, what about electric socks? Yeah. What about them? Well, they make other heated clothing. Like you can get by like heated jackets or hoodies or whatever, or shirts yeah, yeah. or vests. But some people's feet get cold. I'm one of those people. Well, if special like slippers, you slippers. They're slippers, and they have little little uh, electrodes in the front, so you just kind of sli slide them into slide your foot into the charging dock, and you take your <laughs> foot out of them, and they charge. Or possibly make it so they generate electrical charge while you walk. Ooh, static powered. Well, I don't know. That, I was going to say that, like compression, decompression. Oh, that's probably more The efficient. footfalls. Yeah, I don't think you can do st static electricity get, getting converted into some usable format is difficult. Highly, highly yeah, unlikely. I think the problem with static electricity is that it's static, right? Well, you discharge it. If it was moving electricity, it would be useful. <laughs> <laughs> it's that, that fucking lazy static electricity just God sitting around damn lazy electricity coming over here and taking all our jobs wait wait it's lazy and taking our jobs yeah yes. it's amazing how how money the <laughs> how often that the, those roads intersect yeah look just because they're lazy doesn't mean i'm not more lazy hmm Look, just because they're lazy doesn't mean I'm willing to go pick strawberries or something. Hmm. You can't get electricity to pick strawberries. Yes, you can. Strawberries are delicate. No, you, can you totally, really can't. Strawberry picking robots definitely exist. Wait, really? Absolutely. I don't believe so. I've definitely seen videos of strawberry picking machines that were just a, a trailer like 14 people wide with people picking strawberries laying on it. <laughs> I'm not allowed to Google things. But That's right. I am. I am wildly, stating. Wi yeah. Wildly speculate, please. I'm sure of it exists. All right. Hmm. All right. I don't believe. If they you. don't exist, that's uh, that's your thunk for next week. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. No problem there. Uh, How much do those Atlas robots cost? Oh, the Atlas ones? No, they're not for sale, yeah. I don't believe. Yeah, but if I wanted one, how much would it be? Well, the actual Boston Dynamic dog, mm -hmm. uh, if you have, first of all, you have to have a company that is big enough to put in an order for one. Right, right, of course. I uh, think you, you have a, you've drastically underestimated the size of a company you need to have to actually do that. If you have the money, you can just do whatever you want. Yeah. So uh, the, um, Michael Reeves bought one. Wait, for realsies? You guys didn't know I, about this? I hate, I hate him so much now. No, he bought, <laughs> he bought one and set it up to, to pee uh, beer. 
Oh yeah, I think I saw that video. Right? It, and it like finds cups on the floor and then walks over to them, squats in the right spot, and beer comes out of the back. You guys haven't seen? Oh, you got to saw that video. It's a genius video. I didn't realize he actually gotten the dog. I assumed he'd like borrowed it for the video. No, they bought that dog. Uh, their house bought the dog together collectively. Uh, wow. For a an, a stupid amount of money. I can't remember how much, but I was like, oh, okay. So I never get one of those. Got it. So so we talk about how we want to get like science rebranded as stupid counterculture. Mm. Um, like that's it. Mm. The, he's that's the not, that's he's the, the cutting edge of rebranding science as being stupid and proud. Yeah, yeah. Him and William Osmond, they've got a they've got they've cornered that market. I think. Yeah, Here's the thing. they don't actually teach you that much about science. They teach nothing yeah, but they about do science. Do make you enthusiastic about it. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything when you like hear contradictory things or you don't don't understand what they're talking about on the news. The, the, eh, it doesn't make you go ah, but that's not how that works. Okay, so it doesn't give you, you a. What do you want an atlas for? Wait, wh where did this come from? I want to go. I want to oh, rewind a little strawberries. bit. Strawberries. I was yeah, I was curious how how hard it would be to get it one to pick strawberries. Yeah. Because a what, field of them bending over and picking a strawberry and putting it in, and you know, that would be really amazing. funny. That's an amazing sight. You could totally get um, the the dog to do it. You could get Spot to do it, definitely, with a robot hand on its back or something. Yeah, it's got. Yeah, you, have you seen the robot? They, they make it with robot hands. It, it comes oh, with I a claw. Yeah, the claw. All right. Uh, Why is uh, there? They make it with guns too. Yeah, they do now. Apparently. Oh yeah, I saw an image of that. What the fuck was that bullshit like '80s style laser gun they mounted on top of a robot dog? I assume it was mostly optics for long range oh, assassinations, fuck. but I could be completely wrong. Yeah, it's a sniper Our rifle, robot right? dog will hike through four thousand miles of desert and shoot a single round and then hike back. Yep. All right, that's upsettingly yeah. accurate to what probably is happening. God damn it. Well, probably some other stuff. Like, they could do way worse than guns. Grenade launchers. That's true. But like, I mean, like, we have that. Yeah, but we don't have automated grenade launchers that run at you. <laughs> <laughs> and have no regard for their own safety. Like oh, with God. humans, if you shoot at them, they probably will, like, maybe get scared. Robot mm. dogs? No fear. Mm. No, you have to bang, like, pots fear. of pans at them and say, get They'll out of here. Coming. And they won't <laughs> stop until you're dead. <laughs> They'll grab you with their robot hands. Yeah. And they're, very they're very strong. Very <laughs> strong. Robots are made of metal, and metal <laughs> is strong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous bullshit. Yeah. Can we? Some I know for a fact people have strapped guns to quadcopters. Mm -hmm. you, I've seen it on YouTube. I've mm -hmm. seen it on YouTube, and that's a fact. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen one with a chainsaw strapped to it. Oh god! Did it do anything cool? Was it doing like CNC cutting? It was for cutting uh, branches out of the top of trees. That makes sense. To clear that's like true. power lines in remote mm -hmm. areas. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. It also did not work very well. Yep, that makes sense if too. You can imagine the forces that a chainsaw puts on a branch to move it, <laughs> and then think about a <laughs> fragile floating object. You're gonna get a yeah. I think you really need like picture. larger helicopters for that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you could uh, you could achieve a similar kind of effect with some sort of like I feel like some sort of cable saw that loops around it. Guys, this is the perfect thing for my string thrower. Oh, uh, remember this, I was telling you guys about yeah, string mildly throwers? abrasive, mildly abrasive string. We should buy a string thrower and like coat it in the string in diamond dust and glue. Mm. Try to cut. See if we can cut through steel. I don't think we can. I think it'll get deflected all over the place. But I think it's... it'll cut through the string thrower. Also, yes. yeah. Like, you're not going to be able to cut anything that's more tough than the string thrower. I have a question. Do, can we get a string that... 
I don't know what it would be made out of. Maybe a Teflon braid uh, so that we could dump lighter fluid down it as it goes out Ooh. and light it on fire and just have a, a, a ring of fire that we uh, Shitty, have going. Yeah, it's like almost a lightsaber, but like a shitty lightsaber. It, it's like a shitty on fire lightsaber that occasionally spits flaming lighter fluid back at you. Yeah, yeah, no, I definitely would do that. Yeah, absolutely. I think lighter fluid point. is probably the wrong choice. Yeah, mm. probably. I think you I, want I don't... like more something that burns faster and brighter. I'm thinking gasoline. No, I'm thinking lighter like fluid. No, alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. Yeah. I, no, alcohol burns for a little bit. It's fast, but it's not that fast. It's not, we're not talking like flash fast. You know. This is a job for research and development. I think. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Let's... Fuck that. We're, we're just idea people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll sell the products. We don't need to design them. Yeah. String thrower. We should buy a string thrower in general. <laughs> Build one, you yeah. wimp. Yeah, I'll, fuck, I'll make a string no. thrower. <laughs> How much is a string thrower? I don't know. I don't know. They're a toy, right? I'm not allowed to Google things. You used to get a motor. Like, it's basically two rubber wheels next to each other and a motor. And you put the loop of string through it. And you spin it very fast. And it throws the string. Yeah, I know, but they're they're a child's toy. Fucking kids' toys are cheap. Fuck it, twenty bucks. Mm. Buy buy a pack of four. I don't know. Yeah, the prob uh, you probably could do that. But I want to like China. build an industrial strength one with like chain. Oh, you see, yeah. I want. Well, yeah, th that's terrifying. You should make it. You should make a chain thrower. Chain. We'll mount it to our car. We'll call it a chain gun. Mm. Fucking a. Yeah, we will. I think maybe the military will buy our chain gun? I think so. Probably. Oh, oh shit. That's a good idea. <laughs> you use it to search for mines. Ooh. I don't think that's going to work. So but... they used to use them on tanks. They had a, a roller with chains on it, and it would... Oh, it flipped the mines. Never mind. That was for flipping the mines, not for yeah. just hitting chains. I know how things work. Yeah. Oh. Like, you can't let have the mines just going off when an animal steps on it. You have to, like, hit them with, like, a hundred or so pounds. Pains are heavy. And made of metal. <laughs> <laughs> metal is strong. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I if you can throw chain, I, I'd be impressed. Yeah, you'd have to... It would have to be gas-powered at that point, I think. I got a gas motor or two laying around. Yeah, like we that's not a that's not a real barrier to entry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One between the three of us, I think we can figure out how to weld. Yeah, yeah. I've got a I've got a, an electric lawnmower motor somewhere, I think. That might even work. Ooh. They're notoriously low power. Lawnmowers? Really? Well, high speed low power. Locker. High speed, low power. Yeah, yeah. so they, they zip up to speed and then they use the weight of the blade to keep themselves going. So they don't need to start up fast. Right. And they're just cutting grass. So, well, we don't need the chain thrower to start up fast. We, we use the wheels like a flywheel and charge our energy into them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is, the, is this our. Uh... Next the end summer of, project and the end of the podcast, probably. Mm. Ooh, have you guys have you guys learned anything today? I, I learned country songs are even dumber than I thought, mm. and it only costs ten thousand dollars to have a number one Billboard hit. Apparent, apparently, apparently, yeah. I don't like upwards inflection question mark. Someone, like, someone that's... in our audience, tell us how much it costs to be a be a star. Cause that's ridiculous. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, we, I'm going to start saving money and become a country music star. I, I learned that uh, I'm giving up on humanity as a whole. Good. And I've learned that shitty YouTubers can fucking buy high-end military robots. And uh, I'm angry about it. Hmm. Also, they're putting guns on dogs now. So, wait, guns on dogs? Not robot, robot dogs. Robot. Whatever. Oh, robot it's dogs. like, wait, dog guns. Why don't we arm the dogs? I think it's. I'm all for it. Since I've given up on humanity, I'm clearly <laughs> yeah, all for arm, it. Arm the dogs is a good idea. Hmm. All right. 
I'm rolling the outro then. Here we uh, go. Yeah. Go to our Kickstarter, Arms for Dogs, um, where we surgically attach robot arms to dogs <laughs> and then give them guns <laughs> to hold in their robot hands. Thanks for listening, guys. This has been a this has been a thunk brought to you by the tank. Yeah, get tanked. All right. <laughs>